Happy Friday traders! This is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. Do you remember the tattoo I suggested you to make in our last video? The tattoo that will tell you everything you need to know about our market. The trend is your best friend and this is a one-way ticket trend to the upside. Just take a look what happened yesterday uh, on the SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500, a gap and go. It hasn't looked back after the opening and just take a look also on the daily chart. It's just an unstoppable train. This is a one-way ticket train to the upside, a direct route to heaven with no stops in between. Not only the S&P 500 yesterday booked another day of gains, it set its sixth consecutive record, a stretch not seen since 1997 and its eighth day of gains in a row. Undoubtedly, the market continues to rock and roll. <laughs> now, let's get that straight. Nobody, and I mean nobody, likes to buy at all-time highs, but with the prospect of it going higher, you are missing out. So you have to do some buying to stay competitive. Netflix, NFLX. Let's take a look on Netflix, NFLX. Netflix took the most of interest among the technology stocks, which was the best performing sector in Wall Street. Uh, yesterday, NFLX announced it's going to raise the price of its most popular streaming subscription service by $1 a month. That was like a bolt of lightning right to the solar plexus of the average market bull resulting in panicked buying and a push by the major average to fresh record highs. What a great performance in Netflix also on the daily chart. It went into all time high highs with a bombastic, so, so energetic bar. Amazon, another stock that uh, was in focus. Uh, let's take uh, the intraday action of uh, Amazon. Another gap and go yesterday. It also was in focus. Amazon has been one of the High flyer in 2017, just take a look on the daily chart. Uh, since 2017, actually, this stock is up more than 30%. After going through a correction from $1,080 per share, um, it found recently support around $940. Just look how Amazon tested this level twice in late August and then in late September. And with its announcement yesterday that it's going to test its own delivery services to replace functions currently ca carried by FedEx and UPS, and it seems the stock is going to make another try to cross the 1000 level soon. Uh, UPS, by the way, and also FedEx. As a result, started the day yesterday on a sour note, uh, and although they were able to find some ground, uh, they finished in a red territory. Trade of the day, and in this corner of trade of the day, it's not about bragging or showing off, but a learning opportunity for you guys to see what I'm doing as a professional day trader with more than 18 years of expertise in Wall Street, and I'll share with you trading concepts and trading techniques that I'm executing day in, day out. Now, I've been often referred as Mr. IPO by the financial media after lecturing and actually spreading the word for years now about the most exciting phenomena in Wall Street and the most attractive financial opportunity for the individual trader in Wall Street. And I refer, of course, to the IPO. There is no any other security that can go so high and so fast like a fresh IPO. The only problem when it comes to IPO, which stands for Initial Public Offering, is that you can't get enough of it, enough of them. Lately I've been saying that this arena is warming up and let me just put on our charts our YTM, which was the IPO of the day um, yesterday. So we had recently spectacular movements there with intraday actions of tens of percent, almost with every IPO that got started. Yesterday, we knocked it down with Rytham Pharmaceuticals, RYTM. The under 
the underwriting price was set at $17 and the stock as you can see here opened the day at over $23 per share that means more than 35% up now you have to understand that when it comes to IPO you want as a trader to see a big pop up at the opening of a new IPO that is just telling you how much excitement there is around this specific IPO now not all the IPOs were born equally and that means not all of them are going to be rock stars not all of them uh, worth your attentions or your money actually I'm teaching my traders seven tests an IPO should pass in order for us to trade it successfully now our ITM passed all of them and indeed we trade it after an IPO passes all the seven tests the trading technique is actually quite simple and IPOs were born for success and therefore and let me just share that with you let me share with you the last seventh test of a successful IPO and listen carefully traders to that the seventh one the seventh test the seventh test of an IPO is for the IPO breakout of the first five minutes candle so I'm watching and tracking and following these IPOs on a five minutes time frame after the first five minute candle is finished and I have the high of the day set after the first uh, minutes of the opening in this security I'm just placing a buy order after it over the high from there it is usually a great concert and a masterpiece of fireworks you know just take a look at what happened yesterday in RYTM all right uh, the stock kept on and on at one point it was already ten dollars up ten dollars up that is more than 50 percent in one day I gained a couple of thousands of dollars yesterday on that one also lots of my traders were in that trade and participated in this one that is why I just love this game today for you luck <laughs> we have another IPO switch SWCH based in Las Vegas operates three data centers the company's advanced data centers provide power densities that exceeds industry averages with efficient cooling while being powered by 100% renewable energy to more than 800 customers it's being led by the biggest underwriters in Wall Street like JP Morgan Goldman Sachs and Wells Fargo it raised last night more than 500 million dollars so by far it's going to be the biggest IPO of this week and the stock is definitely going to be on my screens today hopefully on your screens as well let's take a quick look on the on a couple of the big movers after the closing bell yesterday that are going to be on our screens today I have the post market right now on my uh, screen on my chart First of all, Costco, C-O-S-T, um, tumbled nearly 3% after hours after the company released its recent earnings for the quarter. Also, we had Yam C, Y U M C, uh, which was up more than 3% after hours, and that was after the company reported better than expected third quarter earnings. Thank you very much for watching. Hoping this is useful information we give you in this series of videos i will love to read your comments have a great trading day and i'll see you soon in our next video bye bye